you mentioned Sophia Dunkley, and I think uh, she's she's very very exciting player. She's you know uh, one of those batters who who really likes to take the game on. I think she hasn't batted much for England, hasn't played much for England, but the couple of innings that she has come out and batted, I think she's she's shown great temperament. She's shown an ability to kind of come in and score immediately. She doesn't get phased by the opposition or the situation of the game. And that's exactly what what you need in that lower middle order where she's likely to bat. So, you know, I, I think um, the way Kately approaches these kind of things, she always goes for the aggressive option. So I'm hoping that Dunkley probably do, if Dunkley plays, Fran Wilson misses out on that on that on that spot in the eleven. Yeah, I think that's probably how it's going to be. It's going to be a, a toss up between Wilson, uh, Winfield Hill, and Dunkley. And you know, the other issue with England is that their bowlers in in Brunt, Eccleston, and Sarah Glenn are all very, very good strikers of the ball, can score at a fair clip. So you know, when you and and they are potentially, or Catherine Brunt is already kind of a genuine all rounder, and Eccleston and Glenn. you know pushing their case to be genuine all rounders at least in t20 cricket so you know they have a very very long batting lineup so you know it's a question of do they want to kind of fit in a, a another you know what kind of batter do they want to fit in do they want someone like fran wilson who's kind of just going to rotate it and and maybe play a couple of innovative shots or do they want someone like dunkley who actually has a decent amount of power can clear the straight field as well uses her feet so that that's the question that they'll have to answer and and uh, seeing the way lisa kately has approached these things i'm i'm going to hedge my bets that she may play dunkley but you know through that west indies series we saw wilson get a go and dunkley only came in later 